covenants are a binding relationship between two people or between groups of people. The covenant comes with both commands and promises. God tells Noah and his family, first of all, be fruitful and multiply in chapter 9, verse 1, and repeat it in 9, 7. You might recall that this command had been given to Adam and Eve as well, and now it's given again to the new human race. It shows us two things. First, sex is a good thing, which God created to be a blessing. And second, that family is good. Children are a blessing from the Lord. I know they don't always seem that way, but they are. The second promise of the covenant is that God will never again destroy the earth in this way. Verse 21 of chapter 8, Never again will I curse the ground because of humans, and never again will I destroy all living creatures as I have done. Notice, too, that he does this even though humanity is still evil. The middle of verse 21 says, even though every inclination of the human heart is evil from childhood. This is what we've been saying. The purpose of the flood was not to destroy all evil forever. If so, God would have had to destroy humanity itself. The flood purged the world to protect the line of the Messiah, weeding the garden to let God's people thrive. 